Hello again. This is the second episode in my series as I go through Georgia Tech's online master's in computer science program. If you would like to see the first video, which goes through why I chose Georgia Tech and some of my research on the program before watching this one, click the episode one tab in the lower right hand corner. Before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to all those who subscribed to my last video. I hope you get a lot out of this series, and feel free to comment any questions or special video requests you have as we move through the degree. To thank you all for the support, here's a comic I love about computer science. For anyone who has used Python before, imports are extremely easy, and that's why I love this comic. As I said in episode one, Georgia Tech offers four concentrations along with the Masters in Computer Science. Completing one concentration is required, but if scheduled correctly, it is possible to unofficially complete two. I have decided to concentrate on machine learning and computing systems. The main reason I chose computing systems over interactive intelligence is because I thought it would give me a more rounded understanding of the subject. With that said, I do plan to complete the last few courses unofficially on Udacity, just so I have the knowledge for all three concentrations. For anyone wondering, your diploma will only show one concentration. For mine, it'll show machine learning. Here you can see my projected plan of study. Each concentration has its own degree requirements, but for machine learning, I had to pick one course from two sections, those are the ones in purple, and three courses from another section, those are the ones in orange. Also, additional fundamental courses are required across all concentrations, those are the ones in green. If you would like to see which courses are required for your concentration, the link will be in the video description, along with the link for fundamental courses. From looking at the computer science program, I have found that both Python and Java seem to be essential. I learned Python through Code Academy and a Coursera course called Python for Everyone, which is made up of a five-part series. If any of you are looking to learn some Python and programming is fairly new to you, I couldn't recommend Python for Everyone more. As always, links will be in the video description. I felt my knowledge on Java was a little weak to start the program, so on top of the Code Academy work I had done, I also took two courses through Udacity, Intro to Java and Object-Oriented Programming in Java. Speaking of Udacity, Georgia Tech offers lots of their master's level courses for free on Udacity. As I said, I have been using this to better prepare myself for the program, but it's also a great resource to check out and get a feel for the difficulty of the master's level courses or to try out courses you think you might want to try in the program. To take the courses for free on Udacity, you are basically auditing, which means no graded homeworks. With that said, it is still a great place to get a feel for the online teaching style, the program as a whole, and individual courses without having to pay anything but a little time. In addition to the Java courses, I have been taking the Udacity equivalent of CS6300 and CSE6242. CS6300, Software Development Process, goes over different styles of software development and testing. To take this course, knowledge of Java or another object-oriented language is a must, and any experience working with software really helps to understand the techniques. However, all homeworks for this course are done in Java. CSC 6242, Data and Visual Analytics, is about the R programming language, and later in the course dives into more advanced data analytic techniques. For this course, knowledge of any programming language and knowledge of probability and statistics should be enough to get you started. My current plan is to sign up for CS 6300, Software Development Process, when classes become open in January. I chose this one to start with because it is a course that applies to all of the concentrations. So if I decide later to change my concentration, it'll be an easy move. Thank you all for watching. I hope you were able to learn something from this video, and if you have any questions, post a comment. I start the program in January, so wish me luck. All of the links from anything in this video should be in the video description, so that should be a good place to start. Thanks, and subscribe.